I'm such a bad platter. Okay. So, Mariana, I have some questions for you. Go for it. Okay, so describe to me the image on your lock screen. Okay. Well, the image on my lock screen, as you can see over here, um, it's a picture of four girls standing in a rock, and they have like this beautiful ocean around it. And okay. the picture, basically, it's like a self-motivation, reminding me to eat clean, and stay healthy, and exercise more. But it's actually not really working. I think I have to change my method or something. But whatever, I believe in it. <laughs> and the ocean around it reminds me sort of like the thing I miss most about home, but it's the beach. And because I really love the, like the whole ocean and the sand, like the beach. And yeah, it's like those two things, basically. Okay, next question. Why didn't you include yourself in the image? Um, that's an interesting question. Like, it's weird because I usually take a lot of selfies and I really like pictures that I'm in it. But I think it was just for this time. Um, I don't know. Just, I wanted to do something different. And it's some, sometimes awkward like having yourself around like every time you go to Instagram, Facebook, I don't know. Your messages, everything. So I think my lock screen. And something I enjoy looking at it, like something new, like maybe a painting or something colorful, or yeah, different concept. How much effort do you put into your appearance before class? Well, right now. Wait, hold on. Turn like this way, like more. Were there. you back? Yeah, but then like face me. Why? Yeah. Because the sun is like half of your face. It's like all sun and. So the should other we start again? Like, whatever. No, we shouldn't. No, we should not start again. Okay. So, um, but then like kind of face. Okay, so um, in New York, when I go out, I take about half an hour to get ready. But before school, I really just like wake up, wash my face, grab the, literally the first thing I see and like just go for it. I so you usually don't put that much effort in? Yeah, I never wear. wear makeup for school. I never do my hair. like. One time I had like a really bad hair day, so I, the only thing I did was like I grabbed that beanie and like just put it. I just like don't worry for like I don't put that much effort in my appearance. I think there's just like no one I'm interested in and I have like no one I want to impress. So yeah, I just. So are you pretty confident in, in how you are like without makeup, without dressing up? You're pretty confident in? Yeah, I think like I don't know. I see people here putting so much effort like worrying about what they're wearing or if they look good and we're actually not here because of that. We're here like to study and learn and like focus on our goals and why we're actually here. That's a really good point. How much do you, how much do you spend um, like on your appearance? How much money do you spend on your appearance? Um, that's a tricky one. I mean, it depends. I would never like buy really expensive things, but my parents, like since I'm an only child, they spoil me a lot. But at the same time, like I try to go to like not really cheap, but like normal stores like Sarah. I really like Sarah and H and M, Topshop, like you know, like regular clothing. And at the same time, like I really like the good things that my parents gave me. Like I would never go to like I don't know Chanel and buy like something with my dad's credit card. Like I would never do that. And I mean, also, well, not right now. It's gonna be really hard because I'm usually, um, like, I usually share the, my mom's clothing. Like, I always grab her things, like her jackets and her heels, because we're the same size, like, really close. And now that I'm gonna be here, like, it's, it has been a struggle. So yeah, I'm just trying to convince her to leave me some things, but it's not working out really well. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Um, do you have any tattoos, scars, or piercings on your body? Um, I have no tattoos. I used to have a piercing, um, right here, like on the upper part of Your cartilage? Head. Yeah. Okay. There. But my mom made me take it off. That was like my rebel. When I was a sort of a rebel, I was 15, like, you know, that teenage crisis. Yeah. And... I wouldn't get one again, and I'm glad my mom made me t take it off. And scars, I have a bunch of scars. 
Um, okay, so this, I have one over here. It's like a mark. I don't know if you can see it. I made this um, when I was in a motorcycle with a friend. Oh my gosh. Yeah, and I still have like the mark. It's been a real pain. I used to have one here when I fell um, doing, I think it was like wave runners or something like that. And I, I, I didn't even notice it until I like came out of the water and I was like bleeding. But now you can barely notice it. Um, I have a lot of like marks and like cuts that I didn't take care of. And mm -hmm. because of the sun and everything, they're like really dark. So now we know why you needed band-aids. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> now you get the whole idea. And I'm usually like filled with cuts like in my hands. I don't know why. So like, I think I'm really clumsy and like, I don't know, it's weird. <laughs> but yeah, I always keep band-aids with me just in case. If you could change one thing about your physical appearance, what would it be? Um, this is gonna sound really weird, but I would change my ears. Your I have, like, ears? Yeah. I I have like this this like self esteem issue with one of my ears like standing out. That's why like I never I usually never have my hair in a ponytail. Oh my gosh. Yeah, it's like my deep dark secret. Like really, no one knows that. And when people know it, like they always like bug me around with it. Like literally they bully me because of that. And yeah, it's like this huge issue that I've had like since I was little, but once I got like I grew and like got older, I like I felt sort of not comfortable with it. And my parents like I I wanted to get surgery and my parents like didn't approve it because I don't know, they thought it was ridiculous. Like but I really wanna get I really wanna get it. And I'm not gonna oh show gosh. it to you. I'm just not. I never would have guessed. That's so funny. Yeah. Do you think the reason that people make fun of you is because they think that it's so silly? Like, they don't see it as, like, a flaw? Because um, that's kind of how I see it. Yeah, the things that, at first, when I tell them, they react just like, like you're, you're exaggerating. Like, it's probably not that bad. And once I show them to mm -hmm. them, they're like, it's so, like, it's really ugly and, like, funny. Like, they would have... They would have never guessed if I like. I don't know it's weird. It's okay. Do you want to see it? Yes. <laughs> show us. Show us. Show us. Okay. So if you look at this ear, like it's not that bad. Okay. It looks like a normal <laughs> ear. Oh my god! I can't believe you're making me do this. This is like my deepest, darkest, darkest secret. And then this is like a little bit. Like it should be like this, but it's not. Oh my gosh! I can't even tell. Okay. Announcement to the world, Mariana has gone crazy. <laughs> oh my gosh, okay. Um, another question, what do you think your clothes and accessories mean about you? Um, well, the accessory you have that has like the, pro that has probably like the, once again, okay. The accessory I have that's probably the most meaningful for me, it's my little rosary. Because I'm really close to God and to my religion, like being a Catholic, that means a lot to me. And I've always been like, my family has really been really close to God and I've, I went to an all-girls school. So it's a, like an important part of myself and I think that's just the way I was raised. And now that I'm older and I can take like my own decisions, I really want to keep close to my religion and God. So yeah, like in hard times or just when I feel lonely, I always like hold it or I don't know, I just like, it gives me a lot of strength. Or like in stupid situations, like maybe peer pressure or things like that. I just like, it reminds me not to like give up why I'm here or just like follow a bad crowd just to fit in it. Just, it's just like self-confidence, I think. So yeah, that's I never take it off. I, I really look up to that, that's, that's incredible. Yeah. Okay, one more question. <laughs> what, um, tell me about a guilty pleasure that you have that maybe no one knows about or maybe people do know about it a guilty pleasure pleasure for me the most obvious one it's ice cream <gasps> me too like my oh my weakness. gosh we're like, 20. i can't i can't see like a cone or a froyo or a fruit popsicle like anything i'll just go and, like and eat it even if it's the flavor i most like my favorite flavor the least i like or just a random food, I'll just try it or get a, a, a second one. That's like, I'd rather stay whole day without eating just to just eat an ice cream. 
So now we know why you need inspiration, right, on your phone. <laughs> it just doesn't work. We just yeah, have to blame ice cream. Yeah, it's so hard for me to say no to an ice cream. Like, I really don't like hamburgers or pizzas. I'm more of a like a cookie kind of person. A nice sweet cream. too. Yeah, me too. So, well, thank you, Mariana. Thank you.